Hey guys, welcome back to Box Gaming, and today we're going to look at my combination lock door again. And I got a few questions um, about how to reset or close the door from the inside. So there's two easy way to do it, pretty much, and it just depends on sort of where your door is and all that. So if your door will be on this side, then the easiest thing to do would be to extend the reset um, lines here by two blocks. Put some um, actually <laughs> put some repeaters there and just run a line down and to a button here and that will cause all the reset lines to activate and it'll turn this all off so let me try I think it was if I remember correctly it was three yep two yep one so you see that torch is on now and if I press this all the reset lines will work and there we go so the way this works is that when um, when a torch is on, so let me do torch number. F Let's do number three again. This red sun on the back is off, and when this red sun on the back is off, this torch can go on because this block is not powered. So all we want to do to reset the whole door mechanism is to power all these redstone behind these torches. So you can see these torches are off because this red sun is on, and it just needs a single burst of redstone. So as soon as I hit that button there, there's this tiny um, burst of redstone power coming. Lights this on and done. So the second way to do this is if your door is on this side, and this is probably the easiest thing to do. So the way you recall this in a video would be like this, and there would be no redstone here. <coughs> so like I said before, all you need to do is give power to, to, uh, to all these redstone figures. So this is very easy, just put some repeaters down like this and as soon as I press the button you can see that that redstone goes on and there we go, it's all reset. So that's pretty much how simple it gets. Um, yeah, I don't think there's an easier way of doing this and in all honesty it shouldn't be much easier either. <laughs> So the other thing that I just wanted to show you very quickly is so that actually resets it sort of close the door but what if you want to open the door so for this I'll just create the door itself and I think it went like this I haven't used this in ages um, am I going to do this the hard way um, oh yeah why not so we'll just go under here oops And I'll just make a door there just to um, illustrate. Mm, yeah, that should do. So this is our wall. And there we go. Put a door in there. Where's are my doors? I always forget where the doors are in this. Uh, oh god, I'm terrible. I can craft it for you, but... <laughs> Right. It's also because I haven't used this um, texture back in a long time. So it's all sort of missing in my head. Hmm. There we go. I'll just, I'll just pick a normal door, not an iron one. Unless, there it is. Ugh. Alright, so put it on. Let's do it like that. And. For the sake of this, I'll just put the redstone. Just ugly. Just doesn't matter really. Um, down like so, and probably put a repeater somewhere. Oh yeah, and I can't move there anymore. Ugh. There we go. Should remove that. Let's go up here. Probably do I need another repeater? No, probably not. All right. <coughs> so that's it very easy. Actually let's do it like that, that should work as well. So let's try this. Do I have any torches on? Yes. So three, two, one, four, five, if I call. Yep, there we go. So the door is open now. Now if I press this, the door should close. There we go. Y you can close the door directly, but just put an AND gate here. Um, but it just makes other trouble, so it's better to do it in the proper way. So let me just open the door again. There we go. So the way I, I would make it so that you would get out is just make a 
pressure pad and thankfully I can make that I can find it straight away and not like that because the power doesn't go so if you would close the door you press this door would open of course you would have to put it closer and power this uh, wall from here but you get the, the main idea anyways let's actually do it why not so then you can just go out and then close it behind you and you have to get into combination again and the other thing I got asked um, was that people were claiming that the whoops the um, you could press any random numbers and it would still open god it looks gorgeous now. <laughs> um, I wonder if grass grows on here now anyways so let's try that so if I press 4 first it won't turn on now the way that doesn't work is because this here is an AND gate so this torch can't go on unless this torch is on as well and it goes all the way to the end so the last torch right here cannot be turned on unless this torch is on and it just works as a whole row now of course you can brute force it um, I don't know how many combinations there are it's 5 to the power of 5 or something so it's it's a fair amount um, the only thing I would probably warn you about is that I would not put two of the same number behind each other I think you can probably but I would maybe increase this delay because else what would happen is say you press 1 and both are one. This torch will go on first, right here. And it might just happen that this torch is still on when this goes on. So just be careful with that. Um, so yeah, it is brute, brute forceable. I think there's loads of combinations. It'll take you forever to be able to do that. Um, if you're not happy with that, just add another layer of buttons and <laughs> you'd have a 10 by 10 to the power of 10 combination and that's just insane. <laughs> So if you have any other questions about this, please let me know and I hope that helped you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.